Zoltan. Get out. Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt, if you don't mind. What can you tell me about Novigrad's underworld? I've got one concept for you. The Big Four. Siggy Reuven, the King of Beggars, Cleaver, and Horse Son Jr. What do you call a triumvirate, but with four individuals? No idea. Well, there are four, and they've carved the city into spheres of influence. Nothing happens without them knowing about it and approving it. Rumor is Horson recently quarreled with the others, but I know nothing more. You've been in town a while. Maybe you can tell me. Radovid and Demir. Why hasn't either taken the city? Excellent question. I believe I can clear the mystery up for you. War requires resources, wherewithal. Novigrad's a large port with a powerful fleet and a treasury overflowing with gold. All that makes it a tasty morsel. Tempting for both Redania and Nilfgaard. I understand. The city's walls are high. Its arsenals are full of weapons. Then you don't understand much. True, a siege be a long and grueling affair, but more importantly, everything that's valuable in Novigrad could disappear faster than a mayfly's dream. The Big Four's made it known that should things come to a head, the fleets flamble, and any assault on the city sure to touch off riots, during which the church's coffers could very well be looted bare. So, anyone wanting Novigrad's wealth, its ships, has no choice but to deal with its criminal underworld. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Another drifter in from Tamaria. This is truly what you want. Hey there, to handsome. To be purveyor of cheap whores and water down wine. Hey! I can't control what I inherit. I'll give you a but you can control what you do feet, with it. But I know. Madam, well, I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Oh, black one. You're the always considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. I haven't the strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk some sense into him. I'm looking for something unusual. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Call me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. <laughs> Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. How much do you need? Maybe I can lend you the coin. Thank you, Geralt, but I refuse to take a single crown from you. You know what they say. Fastest way to lose a friend is to loan him some coin. But a favor? That's different. What kind of favor? I dated this girl once. Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father. Importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? Do 
I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, Dad. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need to draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena. One of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Fine, but... Geralt, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. Something unusual. I'd give you a discount for heroic deeds, but the Madame... Oh, man, you always wear tight. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? I'm a drifter in from Tamaria. Come on. So good to see you. You and Dudu know each other well? Yes, though he's never told me much about himself. He was a merchant once? Mm -hmm. Dudu always had a penchant for enterprise. Probably too honest to succeed in Novigrad, though. Precisely. I've told him countless times that no matter how many times he changes his appearance, the good in him will always emerge. Bloodthirsty tyrants and Vicious assassins. He played them so poorly. That must be why. Whereas he always made for an excellent trusted servant or ghost of the old king. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know. But Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long.
finally made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Dandelion, this is not gonna work. It will, it will. You'll see. Written your lines already. You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. Tremble, flaxen-haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. More like the Crimson Asshole. Silence, vermin! You shall regret the day you were born. On guard! Come on, come closer. You're better than I thought. Been hit! Ow! To the house, quickly! He shan't get us there! Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be! This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? <laughs> <laughs> 